नमो Now you should be ready to come with me or come to India with me. Yeah. And we should go where? Vrindavan. The lake of Ganges. Where Triveni is there. From ancient times, this place is very secret. Sacred. Very sacred. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was there and Sanatana Goswami came and met him on the bank of Ganges, on Dasha's Pramir Bhav. They are talking to each other and Mahaprabhu is inspiring him. So let us go there. Have a seat. What is the process that a, a devotee should go in that process to any high class of any devotee? The process which Rupa Goswami and Sanatana Goswami What? Be penniless. First be Sarnagati. Surrender yourself. Six items there. And be dependent on Krishna. He will support us, nourish us. 
he has this thing. In any way he cannot be up. So these six names of Saranagati should be first. And ten years. No shirt, no pocket. And no dhoti. Only up to the year. And if you have anything, any pocket, any shirt, anything, so Mahaprabhu will always do shadow. What is this one? Unless you will do that. Like you have a hand of the So this is it. First belief should be on that. If he has created lakhs and lakhs universe and he is supporting Lord Sri all, even creatures in ocean, on air, on earth, here and there, he will not. We must support him. Because he has promised. He has promised. He has not only promised, he has told his dearest devotee, so you should go. If I took any promise, it may be wrong. But if my devotee is promising, oh, I must go. I must go. So he has. Now may bhakta, what is the meaning? No me bhakta pranashyati. Nabi, never, never, never. So, <clears throat> now, Mahaprabhu is fully satisfied by his time. And he promised that I will follow him. Then Guru gives anything. First, you are going to any pure devotee with Tattva Darshi, knowing all conclusion, this will go. And three things will be there. Pranipatena, Pariparasnena, Pranipat, like Sanatana Goswami to Mahaprabhu. Pariparasna, oh, he is asking so many questions, 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 but not questions, Pariparasna. Very in humble way. If I am qualified, all the way. If I am qualified. And then, Parikashnena Shevaya. Shevaya. What Shiva? What Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ordered he, him for, to establish temple, to, to publish so many books and petty culture? Oh, he all the Hari Bhakti Gras in this. Oh, Vidam Srimad Bhagavatam. Commentary to Srimad Bhagavatam. Commentary so many things. Vriyad Bhagavatam best. So, he fulfilled the desire of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Now, Tanakam Goswami is so humble. Not like Oh. Like a, a friend, you went to a, and your devotee and took a chair and said, Oh, good, well, can you tell him? No, tell him to go. Pave Sanatan Prabhu de Charan Dhariya, Dainya Vinati Kare Dante, Dante, Dina. And you? Okay. Ketanya Ketanya by Samiji, Vakuna Kandu Sami Toktam, a strong image. Why? I am more wretched than this. Oh. I will follow your order. So this is the tendency of anyone who is going to any high class of people. You can remember your Gurudev. I can remember more. 
thank you. I've seen his humbleness to devotee, to Sri Patsidhar Maharaj, to my Guru Dev, to Sharan Bhakti Sharan Goswami Maharaj. So many asked in their council how humble he was. You correct amazing thing. What has been humble? Oh, giving them so much honor, like a star taking something and give to see and to hear. Very humble. That is why we became so successful. He telling Nishi Jati, Nishi Sangi, Patita Dham, Krishim Arkitam, Kubishai Kupe Pari, Tamayi, Vati, Pop, Sishu. One should begin. Sanatana Goswami said, I was born in a low family, and my associates are all low-class men. I myself am fallen, and am the lowest of men. Indeed, I have passed my whole life fallen in the well of sinful materialism. Our spiritual master, Srila Prabhupada Nityavila Pravishta Om. No, he's translating it from Srila Krishna. What is he telling? Always good. Did you hear? Amen. Sanatana Goswami said, I was... Amen, Goswami said, I was born in a low family, and my associates are all low-class men. I myself am fallen, and I'm the lowest of men. Indeed, I have passed my whole life fallen in the well of sinful materialism. Oh, Sanatana Goswami was very high class of Brahmin family. Very high class of, very learned. From previous, it was very pure and offered to Krishna surrender. But even how he humbly is then, I'm of low class. Why? Can you tell this, these words to any your Shiksha Guru, Diksha Guru? Can? Oh, very rare. But your telling and behavior should be one. I think you can. Very humble, more than anyone. He is realizing himself and telling. Oh, you know Srimati Radhika. What she is telling? Oh, I am more than a straw, dry straw. I have no love and affection for Krishna. Even a little drop. I want to take it. But in the family of Kulindi, very low clouds. I want to be uh, clouds. I want to be river, Yamuna. I want to be a deer, cow calf. What they have love and affection for Krishna? I know. She is telling lie. Sanatan Goswami is telling lie. We cannot understand. He is telling all the way. From his side. But really he is not like so. So we should try to follow. And if you are not following, oh, you are, you are cheated. You are cheating yourself. But how you can think if you are not attending the association of high class of Krishna? Oh, these are the etiquette, this is the process by which we can 
go to any height. You went to your profile. But this, you have no, you are not fortunate so much. You have not heard from any Siksha Guru that who was he and that is why for so many problems. So be like this. Apna hitahit kichu na jani, gram ne bebahare pandit tai sakte pari mani, kripa pari jadi more pari ya chukdar, apna kripa te kaho pati jama. What is it? Strong, okay, all this. Don't bring me. Srila Sanatana Goswami is continuing. I do not know what is beneficial for me and what is detrimental. Nonetheless, in ordinary dealings, people consider me a learned scholar. And I am also thinking of myself as such. Out of your causeless mercy, you have delivered me from the materialistic path. Now, by the same causeless mercy, please tell me what my duty is. Te ami, kene amai jane tapatra, dhyan nahi jane kemo nahi tahe. Who am I? Why do the threefold miseries always give me trouble? If I do not know this, how can I be benefited? Actually, I do not know how to inquire about the goal of life and the process for obtaining it. Be merciful to me and please explain all these truths. Who are you? Yourself. Who are you? Father's name. Father's name. I am don't tell. I am simply asking, who are you? Any name? Just to do the dance. <laughs> it means that you don't know. We all send We don't know. Sanatana Goswami is not telling false. He knows that he is loving one But now, your Maya is covered. And he is playing a part of Sadak Vishak practitioner. So we should try to follow him. I know that any one of our concepts, there are no realization to one. For us, he has. Question Mahaprabhu that he I mean. What is the meaning? It is called Sambandha Pada. So many things will come. To. And Sanatana Goswami has that like Who I am I? Eternal Sarvan Dhaka. I first Mahaprabhu told. Oh, you know all everything, and you are expert in this thing, and you can make Uddhara of whole world. Uh, you can do it. Whole world, and you can help them to be pure Krishna conscious. But even you are asking for others, I know, and he told so many slow. Oh, you are a very qualified person. I'm telling you, who are you? And then he told, Jivera Sarupaya Nitya Krishna Das, 
कृष्ण अंडर का सासक्ति वेदा भी पर आप चाहिए नो दैट ऑल ऑफ यू डोंट वर्क सीनियर आप उसी का भक्ति वेदान स्वामी हैं दे नो दिस टू लाइन्स कि वेरे स्वरूप है दें कृष्ण यू सो ट्राई टू रिमेंबर These words are transcendental. They can be healthy words. Oh, coming from the mouth of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. These are more than Vedas. More than Vedas. Where is Sarupa and Nitya Krishna Das? Oh, all these living, Jeev. All the living entities. Where here, there. All are. Nitya Das, eternal Tharvinda. Even the Baladev Prabhu, Nanda Jyotuta, Garga, Chaj, Kandilya, all, all are servants of Krishna. Anyhow, serving Krishna. And then, Krishna Nara Tatastha Shakti, Veda Bhe, what he has translated. It is the living entity's constitutional. Trying to hear, not talking. It is the living entity's constitutional position to be an eternal servant of Krishna, because he is the marginal energy of Krishna, and a manifestation simultaneously one and different from the Lord, like a molecular particle of sunshine or fire. Krishna has three varieties of energy. Hmm. What? Just as Then, he... What you told? Oh, can you tell what he, your profile told? You can, can you repeat what in translation he told? For getting Krishna, the living entity has been attracted by the external feature from time immemorial. Therefore, the illusory energy Maya gives him all kinds of misery in his material existence. Again, I want to do this. For getting Krishna, the living entity has been attracted by the external feature from time immemorial. Therefore, the illusory energy Maya gives him all kinds of miseries in material existence. Oh, you should know the, all the languages of universe are not friendship. But Krishna and Jivas and his what manifestations all are transcendent. Any worldly language cannot speak thoroughly about transcendental things. Sometimes malice, malice, 
of language will come and you cannot define it solely. There must be some something lacking, effective. If Krishna is forgetting, what word he has written? Forgotten. Forgotten. Then forgotten means what is the meaning? Oh, he knew, but he forgot. Forgot. At first, in originally he was knowing him, serving him, but anyhow, any reason, a special reason, he forgot. This meaning will come, but this is defect. Also, we will see and judge that if Guru is telling something and he has told something before and now he is telling and it may be some contradictory thing. But if Guru is bona fide, anything not wrong. You will have to reconcile. How? By the words of previous acharyas in his line, whom he has accepted. Like Sanatana Goswami, Rupa Goswami, Jeev Goswami, Krishna Ashkapiraj Goswami, like Bhakti Vinod Thakur, or Narottam Thakur, Vishwanath Chagavarti Thakur, or Baladev Vidya Bhushanti, in Tattva. We will see that he is telling in his line or not. And what they are telling, but he is telling some contradictory, this and that both, then we should decide by the words of the gurus he has accepted. And Shastra and Krishna has told. We should try to get by that. And then we will have to reconcile. We know that very qualified and realized soul cannot tell anything loyal, which is not good. But we will have to reconcile. Here he told, but he he has, he has not clarified who Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami or Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is telling, but not so much clear. Again, come here. Oh, 102, 122. Maya Lugdha Jivar Nahi Krishna Ishmati Gyan Jivar Kripaya Kaila Krishna Beda Pura. The conditioned soul cannot revive his Krishna consciousness by his own effort. But out of his causeless mercy, Lord Krishna compiled the Vedic literature and its supplements, the Puranas. Why he told this? Why? If Guru is following that faith and Puran, he is telling to Ved Puran according, or giving these some some examples on some praman, okay. evidence from Quran, then he is okay, all right. But if he is not, the Veda and Quran not following his all words, then there should be something. Like it. So we should see in Vedas and Quran, but we are not qualified to see. Here is the matter. But if you are senior, sincere, or by hearing the high class of association, you can think about this. Here also not clear, or come again. <coughs> but we will have to uh, Reconciled by Shastra and Guru Parampara. What my Guru Dev is telling? He cannot tell anything beyond their line. Never. Because they have accepted that line. 
and accepted Ved, Puran, Upanishad, Bhagavatam. So he must do anything. Yes, also. So we should try to associate with high class of Vaishnava. Those who are in this line, equal to Gurudev. Even not people, but in their line. Then, come here. Twenty-two, ten, thirteen. Twenty-two. Twenty-two chapter, Madhya, <coughs> ten to thirty. Same thing. I am telling all these things to clear this subject. Advaya Gyan Krishna Tattva Shwain Bhagavan Sarup Shakti Rupe Hayatar Anastha Shwain Sripi Nansa Rupe Hayya Vistar Ananta Vaikun Brahmande Karana Vita Shwain Sripi Tattva Chaturviha Vatar Gan Vibhi Nansa Jeevata Shakti Vita Seven to nine. Krishna is the non-dual absolute truth. Oh, it is clear. Krishna. Krishna is the non-dual absolute truth. What is that? What is that? Oh, yes, you understand. Krishna is Atraya Kyan. Can you define clearly? Chaitanya mm Sutra. -hmm. Very... Thank you. Thank you, you should hear very hard subject. Deep, eh? Deep. Oh, deep. Deep subject. Atraya Kyan. Have you heard this word? Are they again? Yes, yes. But try to know. Srimad Bhagavatam has stated, Vadanti tat tatva vidas tatvam yat jnanam advayam nameti paramatneti bhagavan iti shabdate. The absolute truth, it is advaya jnan paratatva. It is the supreme truth, and it is advaya jnan. Advaya means non-dual. There is no duality in that absolute truth. Yet, it what is... It, what is the meaning? This absolute truth is perceived in three features. Brahman, Paramatma, and Bhagavan. Oh, I'm not going to that one. I want to come in Advaik Gyan. What is Advaik Gyan? So our acharyas have explained that Bhagavan, being the Supreme Personality of Godhead and Absolute Truth, there is no duality in Him. Duality, or Dwaya, duality does not exist in Him, therefore He is called Adwaya Gyan Paratattva. Dwaya, or duality, can be divided into three categories. Swagat Bhed, Vijatya Bhed, and Sajatya Bhed. So, we'll explain these one by one. First of all, Swagat Bhed. This means there's no duality in relationship in regard to his own transcendental form. For example, Krishna, he has a transcendental form. One may argue there's duality in this form. Why? Because he has a head and his, his head is different from his feet. His feet are different from his hands. His hands are different from his legs. His Why? nose is different from his ears. His ears are different from his eyes. But no, this is not the case. In Brahma Samhita, it is described that all the senses of the Supreme Lord can perform all the functions of all the other senses. So therefore, he can what he can perform with his eyes, the same function he can perform with ears, what he can perform with his hands, he can perform with his feet, 
His sense of touch can smell, his sense of smell can hear, his hearing can see. In this way, even though it appears to be duality there, there is no duality at all. He is absolute. So there is no hate, no difference in regard to his own transcendental form. This is called Swagat Bhed. Then, Sajatiya Bhed. Sajatiya Bhed means Sajatiya. That which is in the same category as him is also non-different from him. For example, Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. But the Supreme Personality of Godhead has many forms. Kurma, Matsya, Varaha, Ram, Kalki, Narsinga. Many different forms. And there appears to be duality between them. But from the platform of Tattva Siddhanta, philosophical principles, they are all one Tattva that is called Vishnu Tattva. Advaita Majuta Manadi Mananta Rupam Adyam Purana Purusham Navayova Namcha Though he has unlimited forms, these forms are Advaita. They are non different from each other. Or they are called Tattva. Vishnu Tattva. They are called Swansha Tattva. Swansha. His own. They are not, uh, not independent there to do anything. They are himself Krishna. So they are called Swansa. And between us, oh, much difference. So Ram, Nishin, Kalki, Baman, all are Swansa. But it seems, oh, they are different. <laughs> what is this? This is called Vaishishtya, a speciality of Krishna. <laughs> Though they are seen in different <clears throat> faces and bodies, but all independent, or they are all existing in Krishna. Yes, so something, so these are called forms. So first type of base, <coughs> so all the gopis, gop, Nanda Baba, Jasoda, Valadeva Prabhu in there, and here in Vaikuntalo, so many, or oh, here so many forests, jungles, we are all. What is this? What is this? There are so many things. But anything, anyone is not dependent. Independent. All are dependent to Krishna. So these are Vaishishta, not anything else. So there is no bhed at all. No difference. If anyone quite independent with on Krishna, no depend, dependency on Krishna, then he may be any, anyone. Even consort, Jarashanda, anyone is not dependent. So all are including in Krishna and that is called Advaita. So, first type of bait, swagat bait. There's no difference in Krishna's own body. Angani, Yasya, Sakalendriya, Brittimanti. All senses can perform all functions of senses. Second type of bait. In the same category as Krishna, his own swansa, his own expansions, they're all one tattva, Vishnu tattva. So there's no difference here. Now the third type of bait, this is called Bijatiya bait. Is there any difference between Krishna and those things which are it, which are bijatiya, they are of a different category than Krishna, such as the jivas, they are bibinans tattva, they are his separated parts and parcels, and also maya, the material energy, is not in the same category as Krishna. Is there any difference between them? No. Srila Jiva Goswami part in his sandhavas is written, Ekameva paraman tattam sobhavya kajincha shaktiya, that the absolute truth is one, but he's manifest in four manifestations, which are inconceivably all taken together to be Advaya Gyan Paratattva. We can understand this by a simple example. The sun, the internal feature of the sun, the, this is the first aspect. Then the globe of the sun, the mandal, uh, Surya mandal. Then the rays coming out from the sun, and then the remotely situated reflection of the sun. These are four features, but these four features all depend upon the sun and they cannot be separated from each other. In the same way, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, He is like 
the internal aspect of the sun. His Vaikuntha planets and expansions, they're considered to be like the sun disk itself, Surimandal. And the jivas are like the rays emanating from the sun. And Maya is like the remotely situated reflection of the sun. All taken together, this is Advaya Gyan Paratattva. There cannot be any difference in them. Thank you. Now, come to this point. Vidhinans Jeev Shakti Te Ganan. There are not persons personified. Eh? What we have translated Shakti Te Ganan? Ninth? Ninth, ninth. Expansions of his personal self, like the quadruple manifestation of Sankarsana, Pradyumna, and... No, 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 no. Vibhinams Jivta Shakti Te Gana. Ninth. After that. The living entities, Jivas, are divided into two categories. Hmm. Some are eternally liberated... No, no. <coughs> One line up above. Vivinans Jeev Ta Shakti Te Ganan. Or Jeeva Shakti. The separated expansions are living entities. Although they are expansions of Krishna, they are counted among the different potencies. Yes, they are a potency. You should know. <laughs> but here we see, oh. Men, women, so many things. But all are manifestation of. They are parinam of tatastha shakti or transformation of marginal potency. But you should know this margin, marginal potency, oh, not in Golok Vrindavan. Oh, there is, or oh, his. A special rule, mool rule, original form, yog maya, sarup shakti, and from them all are manifested. <coughs> These divinans, divinans, separated, partitioned. Oh. There are two uh, two kinds. One nitya mukta. Nitya Mukta means they have never been in Maya. Never, never. Eternal associate. Serving Krishna in so many forms. They have never seen Maya. What is called Maya? Never. And <coughs> one Nitya Sansha. Nitya Sansha means? Eternally. They have never seen oh, Golok Vrindavan. They have never seen Krishna. They have never gone there. Nitya Sansa, from, from their constitutional position, they have never seen Krishna. So there is no question that they have eh, or written or they have come from there. No question. <laughs> Then, Nitya Mukta, Nitya Charane, Krishna Charane Unmukha. What is telling? And Krishna Parishadanam Bhunje Sevas. This will translate. Apart from the ever liberated devotees, there are the conditioned souls who always. Hmm? Why not from above? Those who are eternally liberated are always awake to Krishna consciousness and they render transcendental loving service at the feet of Lord Krishna. They are to be considered eternal associates of Krishna, and they are eternally enjoying the transcendental bliss of serving Krishna. And Nitya Baddha, Krishna Ite Nitya Bahirmu, Nitya Sansare Bhunje Narakadi Dukha. Apart from the ever-liberated devotees, eh? ah. apart, from the ever liberated devotees, there are the conditioned souls 
who will always turn away from What is the meaning of this? Just to try to think of it very deeply. Nitya samsar. What is the meaning? Eternally. They have never been there. Never. He is telling. Gunje narakadi Oh, they are going to for 20 minutes. 14 locks here and there. Historically called. From beginning. From beginning there. No constitutional growth is there. No. Only something is there. Potential. One more. Say those am I pisati Due to being opposed to Krishna consciousness, the conditioned soul is punished by the witch of the external energy, Maya. He is thus ready to suffer the threefold miseries. Miseries brought about by the body and mind, the inimical behavior of other living beings, and natural disturbances caused by the demigods. No. Jajaradharamanaharibo. and Nitya Baddha. What is the meaning? Nitya means eternal not this. From in memory. But he can be liberated. He can be liberated. By the mercy of Krishna. By the mercy of the God. He can be liberated. So it is called anadi baddha. What is the meaning? If we will take the meaning of Krishna Shai Bhuri Ji, no harm. <coughs> he has forgotten. From, from where he has forgotten, this is the thing. From where he forgot. So, we will have to, to tell so many things. First, we should go to Gita. Gita has sold. 
Here in this verse, Bhagavan Sri Krishna, oh no, don't, don't, is explaining uh, only gist. <laughs> if anyone goes to that abode, they can never return to the material world. Where abode? The Vrindavan. <coughs> no? If anyone going, uh, has reached there, <coughs> and he was there from before, or anyone from this, this world, they have gone there in that, that transcendental land of Krishna, Vrindavan, Golo. Oh, they cannot be free. Never, never. Yat Gatva Nandi Vartante. Tadham. So any jeev who had not gone there, who had gone anyhow by practicing bhakti yoga up to praying, Sneeman, no, like anatha gone, nishtha, nishtha, ruchi, asakti bhav. And they have, oh, in lakhs and lakhs but they have attended this. How they can return? There is no chance. Why? There is no maya. There is no maya, there is jog maya, always helping. If anyone has taste to serve Krishna conjugal, how they can return from there? There should be any reason to forget, but there is no reason. So Ji Goswami has uh, frankly told, but there are some doubt in the minds of devotees that unknowingly they establish that the Jeev has come from there. Oh, Krishna Bhuri. And they established that, oh, Krishna has, uh, all these souls has come, has, have come from their forgetting their uh, Now, when they read Chaita, uh, Jaiva Dharma and all these things, oh, we have done wrong. <laughs> If we accept our blunder, then people the very harmful to us. And bad reputation may come, anyone cannot believe. So they try to cheat. They don't produce all these things that Swami has told. Your Guru Dev Prabhupada has told later on. And then we should know all these things also and all after that he has written. What he has written? There are so many places in Srila Prabhupada's books and letters. In Srimad Bhagavatam Canto 3, he writes, the conclusion is that no one falls from the spiritual world or by Kuntha oh, Blanda. You can see Bhagavatam and you can see. But, this, this, is, this is from chapter 16. What I thought? The conclusion is that no one falls from the spiritual world or by the planet, for it is the eternal abode. Then there was a letter asking if we have ever seen Krishna. And Srila Prabhupada writes, Regarding your second question, have the conditioned souls ever seen Krishna? Were they with the Lord before being conditioned by the desire to lord it over material nature? Yes, the conditioned souls are parts and parcels of the Lord, and thus they were with Krishna before being conditioned. But, just as the child must have seen his father, because the father places the child in the womb of the mother, Similarly, each soul has seen Krishna or the Supreme Father, but at that time, the conditioned souls are resting in the condition called susupti, which is exactly like deep sleep without dream or anesthetized state. Therefore, they do not remember being with Krishna when they wake up in the material world and become engaged in material affairs. 
That was a letter to Jagadish Prabhu from Los Angeles in 1970. Then in the Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 3, Chapter 7, Text 9. According to Vishnu Purana, Bhagavad Gita, and all other Vedic literatures, the living entities are generated from the Tatasta energy of the Lord, and thus they are always the energy of the Lord and not the energetic. So this says they didn't come from there. One thing. You know, there are so many seeds. Like any mango sheet, any sheet. This sheet has not been developed. No sprout, no tree, no fruit, nothing. But in seed, all the potencies of the whole tree, up to fruit and everything, is there in the latent position in sheep. There's a letter to that effect if you'd like to read it. Ah, so yes, okay. This is a letter to Rupa Prabhu in 1969. In further reference to your question about the form of the spirit soul of the conditioned living entity, there is a spiritual form but always. But you not think that this subject is out of subject, or it will help you all. If you are a strong in this philosophy, it will help oh, to have a very strong bhakti. And then you will not be here. Never, never. So you should try to know. If this, even this subject is very good. There is a spiritual form always, but it develops fully only when the living entity goes to Vaikuntha. This form develops according to the desire of the living entity. Until this perfectional stage is reached, the form is lying dormant like the form of a tree is lying dormant in the sea. Yes. Also, there's another reference in the Krishna book where Srila Prabhupada says when we meet Krishna in his Prakat Leela, it's the first time. Shall I read that? Oh, no need, no. We will discuss for that tomorrow. Now time is over. Uh, we will clear it more tomorrow. By the example of Jiva Goswami, by the Vedas, Upanishad, uh. and we will clear this subject. Very good. There should be no doubt. Hari Hari Nama.
Oh, 